Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Here we have interesting exponential equation 9 to the power x plus 12 to the power x equal to 16 to the power x. So the main idea to solve this kind of exponential equation is to divide in both sides by, for example, in our case, let's divide both sides by 16 to the power x. 16 to the power x, of course, is not equal to 0, so we can do this. So 9 to the power x over 16 to the power x plus 12 to the power x over 16 to the power x equal to 16 to the power x over 16 to the power x. Of course, this is equal to zero, but I'll write it later. So we have a situation like that. We have different bases, same exponent, different bases, same exponent, and right here, this will be equal to one. So what the rule we need right here? So if we have a over b, and right here we have x a to the power x and b to the power x, we can write it in one parenthesis, a over b to the power x. This is really good rule and we use this rule right here. So we will have 9 over 16 to the power x plus 12 over 16 to the power x equal to 1. Okay, what are we going to do next? Of course, I see that right here I can divide nominator and denominator by 4, so we will have 3 and 4 right here, and of course right here this 9 can be written as 3 square, and this 4 can be written as 4, four square. So we can we can work with 3 and 4 right here and right here. So let's do this. Let's try to simplify this a little bit. So this 9 can be written as 3 square. 3 square. This 16 can be written as 4 square. Okay. Raised to the power x plus 12 and 16 right here, dividing denominator and denominator by 4, and we will have our 12, 12 over 4, it will be 3, and 16 over 4, it will be 4, raised to the power x, equal to 1. Okay, really good case, because we have the same situation as like that. We have different bases, but same exponent, same power. In our case, this is 2, so we can write this in one parenthesis. So let's do this. We will have 3 over 4, first parenthesis raised to the second power from here, and of course all raised to the power x. Plus 3 over 4 to the power x equal to 1. It's really good to know the rule of interchange, because if we have a situation like that, we can swap these exponents, these, these powers. If we have our rule right here, if we have a to the power x raised to the power b, we can write this as a to the power b raised to the power x. So we can swap our exponent, our powers. So let's do this. We will have an interesting case right here. We will have 3 over 4 raised to the power x and all square plus 3 over 4 to the power x equal to 1. Really good case right now, because we have 3 to the power x to the second power, 3 to the power x equal to 1, of course. I feel that this will be our quadratic equation, and we need to use a substitution right here. So we have 3 to the power x right here, and 3 to the power x right here. So we'll let this 3 to the power x, 3 over 4 to the power x, equal to, for example, t. And of course, t will be greater than 0 because we are talking about exponential function and t is greater than 0. Okay, we have our substitution, 3 times 3 over 4 to the power x equal to t, so we will have a quadratic equation, we will have t square plus t minus 1 equal to 0. How can you solve this? Of course, the most common method, a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to minus 1. Let's put our abc to our roots, so we will have t1 equal to, we will have minus 1 plus square root of, of what, b square minus 4ac, so we will have 1 minus 1 plus 4, it will be 5, over 2, and t2 will be the same way, t2 equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 over and we write a substitution that our t should be greater than 0. So, take a look right here. We will have square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. 
of course it will be greater than 0 because square root of 5 is greater than 2 and this will be good root for us. Take a look right here. We will have minus, of course, in our denominator, in our nominator. So we will have minus in our nominator and plus in our denominator. So of course we have minus. So t2 will be negative. So one and only root that is good for us is t1. t1 equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. So let's go to our substitution. So the final equation we will have 3 over 4 to the power x equal to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. How can you solve this? Of course, the real good to solve is to take a log from both of the side. So we will have, if we take a log on the left, we will, we will have only our x equal to log this thing minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 base 3 fourths. I think you understand me, just taking log from both of the side. Right here we'll have our domain log property, x jump right here, x equal to, and our log 3 over 4 we let right here. So we can simplify this a little bit using a log rule, so we will have x equal to log square root of 5 minus 1 over 2 over log 3 fourths. And of course you can calculate this, you can put the answer right here instead of the text, so this will be our root. A little bit complicated of course, because you have nominator, denominator and not like the table table log. So if you agree with this method, if you disagree, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in a comment, write your question in a comment, try to calculate this answer, write your answer in a comment, I really appreciate it. Put thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.